I hope you all had a magical, wonderful Halloween. Uh, as usual, I'm here a little bit late, but we are actually concluding Halloween night right now. It was so fun. I never know like which way is more fun to tell you guys like how the trick or treating went or to just be like the trick or treating is about to happen. I can tell you guys we gave away 150 treat bags this year. I feel like we made just the right number because I think I told y'all in the treat bag haul video the other day like this could have been supposedly the coldest Halloween on record in Houston. It's so weird like two days ago it was super sunny it still felt like summer it was like 80 or 90 degrees outside and then for the past two days it's been rainy it's been really cold and now like literally tomorrow I think it's supposed to be back in the low 80s again so um we kind of did not know like what the weather was going to be like if we were going to get a lot of trick-or-treaters or not it's also a Tuesday which is not like the worst day for trick-or-treating but also of course like Friday and Saturday Halloween is like the two best days that Halloween can fall on the other thing is I finally I finally had time to put my costume on because you guys so many Halloweens like we are down to the very last minute to get everything done so a lot of years I don't even have time to do like my full hair and makeup um this is a wig but <laughs> so uh yeah but a lot of times I don't really have time to like put a costume on do all my hair and makeup and stuff and this year it worked out I had like just enough time and now my makeup is like kind of all gone because <laughs> we've been standing outside for hours you guys it was so much fun and Dogman and I just ended up randomly deciding it would be fun like we have these like old fencing swords we were just kind of like out like pretend fencing but it was so much fun this is how my costume turned out uh I was trying to do Phantom of the Opera Mask of the Red Death this year and this is my corset which is brand new I only decided on this costume like literally a week and a half two weeks ago so I'm hoping I can revamp it next year and like get even more like the Venetian sleeve top and I feel like I need maybe like a different hat I don't know you guys this is like my only all red hat I added these feathers but I do love it and it does have this cool like netting and oh my gosh like this ribbon in the back I love it I love it so much so I feel like the hat is definitely like a little bit more like Victorian um and you know what now that I'm sitting here oh my gosh I was like doing this on snapchat which if you don't follow me uh on snapchat you should I do like random stuff there all the time like little daily vlogs and like other just random vlogs like I was talking about how like last minute I decided for my costume I wanted to dye a wig red and oh my gosh I feel like this was like a little bit of a catastrophe um because I ended up not having enough dye like I got this wig I got two bottles of dye I literally did it like super late last night oh my gosh look at this where my hat has been on my head all night yeah I'm definitely gonna like re-dye this let me know if y'all want like a random uh video random vlog of me doing that um you guys I'm so inspired to like start daily vlogging again I feel like every three months well not like putting out a vlog every day but like you know vlogging for a whole week and then having like one daily vlog a week y'all um so yeah I feel like there are definitely some spots where there's nearly no red dye but I think for like thinking of this costume like a week and a half ago oh my gosh uh so yeah we definitely had such a fun time so the next clip I'm showing you guys like when we had the table all set up this morning of all the different things that we had to put in the treat bags we did some completely new stuff this year well you know what I know I don't know if we've ever done juice boxes we had juice boxes this year because that was something that was like commented a lot on snap I kept asking like what's something that you would like to get that's not candy related and I feel like the things that were commented the most was uh lip balm and juice boxes so I made sure I got lip balm and juice boxes uh we've done like coolers before um and had like Goulade and so I they didn't do Goulade this year did anybody else miss Goulade normally 
Chipotle have like the Goulet Kool-Aid jammers. Um, so I don't think we've ever had juice boxes before, but that was like new. We had all the skibbity toilet stuff. That was all completely new. And we had, oh, the little uh, things from the TikTok shop, the little like radish fidgets. I don't really know what they're called. I, well, I've seen them called carrot knives, radish knives, TikTok knives. That sounds weird. But anyway, you guys, uh, that is it from me. I guess there's like not an outro really to this video, but the whole next bit is just me like walking around the table, showing you guys like all of the different stuff we gave away. Anyway, you guys, I've had this way gone too long. All my thoughts are gone. I hope y'all all had an amazing Halloween. I would love to hear what y'all were this year if you dressed up if you took somebody trick-or-treating if you went trick-or-treating yourself what you did for Halloween let me know in the comments down below whatever it was I hope y'all had an amazing time um and if I can tag you guys check out I think it's actually here uh from y'all's perspective I will have some of the products that I'm wearing today linked I will link you guys to the hair dyes I use just in case you're curious it's it's all through YouTube shopping, which is like a new feature that I have been loving. So just in case you're curious about like any of the stuff I'm wearing, like I'm wearing my favorite mascara right now, which is the Maybelline Curl Bounce. I love this stuff. And I've had this makeup on for hours and it's actually been really comfortable. So anything I can link you guys to, just in case you're curious, uh, it will be down in the little YouTube shopping thing wherever you can click on it. But thank you guys so, so much for hanging out today and for watching. And yeah, I will see you guys again very, very soon. If you're not already and you'd like to be, hit the button down below, subscribe, become a member of the Swamp Family and give an alligator its wings. I love you guys so, so much. And I'll be back again very, very soon. Bye. All right, you guys, here is a first look at all the treats on the table. So this is just kind of what the entire table looks like. I'm about to take y'all on a tour, of course, of each treat in each bucket. But I just kind of wanted to give y'all a big overview of all of the magical treats. So I'm going to start down here like I always do. First up, I have these adorable plushies. They have these long Velcro crow arms. We have tons of different characters. Up next, we have the bucket of Play-Doh. Lots of supposedly special rare Play-Dohs in here. The treasure chest of pencils. I absolutely love filling this every year and I always have tons of different pencil designs. Up next, a classic fidget noise-making favorite. We've got some poppet tubes. We have these, which we're gonna fill up with candies or little treats. Um, sometimes I even put like a dollar bill or a five dollar bill in there, but they are little uh, jack-o'-lantern Easter eggs. I also have some of these cute little cake pop cuties. I actually didn't know what these were until I opened like a sample in my haul video the other day. They're like squishy pencil toppers inside of these cute little cake pop exteriors. I also have um, some neon cat ear headbands. These are super cute. They're like those pullback race cars. These are brand new for this year and I forgot to put them in my haul the other day, uh, but there are lots of cute little critters in here. Up next is kind of a miscellaneous basket of different kinds of spider rings. I have some bracelets in here, a couple tiaras. This is also kind of like a small miscellaneous thing of little activity books, some stickers, some notepads, lots of cute little designs. I didn't see as many of these this year, honestly, you guys. I kind of wonder if these are like going out of style or something. Up next, whoopee cushions. I kind of thought that these were like so random. I liked the design with the dead fish bone on it. Look, he's cute. Some candy up here in the front. We usually just restock this as we start like filling up the bags so we can kind of see like the different candies we have. So this is a pretty big platter of chocolate right now. This is Dots and these new lollipops, which looked so good this year. I haven't tried one yet. If y'all have, let me know. They're Sour Patch. They have this like powder in the bottom, which is supposed to be like a sour dipping powder. 
Uh, up next, I have some of these inflatable pirate swords in a couple of different styles. Still going strong this year is my stash of these little guys. I think I got like a million of these from Target years ago. I love these designs. They're these large pencil erasers, tons of really pretty colors, really cute designs. I have some of these craft kits. You can make these little um, bracelets. Some of them I think are also like skeleton keychain kits. Up next, also new for this year. I thought these were so cute. They're haunted house trinket buckets. So you can actually put like rings or I don't know, other little treats and trinkets inside of these. These are my mysterious envelopes. I'm probably going to have to put a clip. They're those flying bat trick bookmark things. Shap ice lip balms. I got this suggestion a lot on uh, Snapchat. That's something people would love to get are miniature chapsticks. I have some more eggs to put treats in. So so these look like candy corns and once again we can fill them with whatever some more inflatable swords back here um these were sent to me in swamp family mail years ago but i got like tons of them they're so cool um i think that they were like cake toppers originally from a bakery but like look at how fun and colorful these giant uh spiders are these rings were also sent in swamp family mail and there are also just tons of them. They're so cute. Um, different jack-o'-lantern faces. Right in the middle, I have a small amount of these random little, I think they're supposed to be like slinkies. It wouldn't be Halloween without some plastic vampire fangs. Um, brand new for this year. I feel like these are so popular on TikTok. The little carrot and radish fidgets. And these things are honestly so fun. I never tried one until like my Halloween treat bag haul video the other day. And ever since then, oh my gosh, they're just such a fun little fidget. We have some glow sticks, some eye patches, some skibbity toilet stickers, tons of different um, bubble wands. We've got these bottles with these cute character toppers. And then, um, oh my gosh, it's a ghost. And uh, then just some that are like this. We have some of these bubble wands um, that I've also seen turned into earrings and they look so cute. We have some miscellaneous like little toys, tops, yo-yos, and then these little, um, I don't know what you would call them. Like you try and get the ball into these different point goals. <laughs> what, are, what are those called? I don't know. A thing of rubber creatures. We've got bats. We've got rats. Some mini pens. So these are all these like little neon ones. These mini stampers. They're actually like a double ended stamper. Tons of magic ink. And you guys, it's been a thousand years since I've tried any of this. And I'm kind of curious, like how fast does it fade? Because I, I would like to know. We have a beautiful plethora of these um, fruit chews, these Tootsie Roll things, which honestly, you guys, oh my God. I've never tested these vanilla ones until yesterday. This is like my new favorite candy now. These are so good. I had no idea. We have a bucket of socks with lots of different cute designs, these little jack-o'-lantern decks of cards, super cute keychain plushies, little monsters, ghosts, and jack-o'-lanterns. These, which are super cute little plushy ghost keychains. Up here, we have a huge cauldron of different types of chips. This is another bucket of lots of different Tootsie Rolls. These are also some of my favorite candies. Up next are these cute little like Frisbees. You squeeze these things and the eyeballs go flying. Big thing of different rubber bouncy balls. Some of them have these cute little characters in them and some of them are just plain neon colors. Please let me know. I'm not the only person as a little kid. I used to love to shove my fingernail in these. 
I'm really trying to resist doing that right now. A bucket of bones. I think of these as bookmarks. Do you use these as bookmarks? Let me know. Up next, some of the Pop It Fidget keychains. These are so cute. I'm actually like surprised by the quality of these. Like they feel really nice. We have a huge bucket of double bubble bubble gum. A bucket of these cute little cameras. And they're kind of like fidgets too. You can turn them into keychains. And I'm always trying to show you guys what's in them. So y'all can see we have some skibbity toilets i tried to separate them out by like the toilets and the titans so we have a little bucket up here of each of them these are some kit kat bones we also have kit kat witches brew just some other little chocolate bars up here reese's three musketeers adorable little jumping frogs lots of noisemakers bang whistles and we have um, these little monster whistles as well. A bucket of snakes. These are pencils. And we went ahead and put these uh, sticky wall crawler things on here. So I don't know if the trick-or-treaters will know this or not, but you can take these off and throw them at the wall. And then they will just slowly tumble down the wall. But I thought that they would be cute to give away like also as pencil toppers. We have these adorable packs packets of mother's eerie critter cookies so they're like animal cookies but halloween themed we also have another thing of all of these plastic rings spiders bats another staple of halloween we have these funny eyeball glasses in assorted halloween colors in here is a bucket of vomit balls i've seen these everywhere once again on a tiktok shop and i see a lot that's like an egg design i think it's supposed to be like gudetama we have other buckets of chocolate another thing that got commented a ton on snap was juice boxes so we got some of these and they look really tasty i've never tried one before but i think maybe i'll have a very berry today more of these wall crawler pencils that we went ahead and pre-made we have tootsie pops we have some pop a point pencils with lots of different cute designs and we have some ballpoint pins also in a lot of different cute designs fruit snacks and these look so tasty some of these and i think some of these are tattoos um some of them are tiny puzzles and some of them i think are scratch and sniff stickers we have these to put in the bags or the buckets they're these cute little jack-o-lantern cups we have lots of crazy straws we have a couple of these little plushy unicorns a couple big pins and a couple of these larger bubble wands this is also just like a miscellaneous grouping of sticky things we have these little skeleton things that you can fling up against a wall we have these which are sticky skeleton wall crawlers these which are just your ye old stretchy sticky bones these are actually wrapped like little cards that have sticky things inside of them and these i think are super cute they're like velvet posters and they come with two little markers and we have a bunch of those some random tattoos and i don't even know what's in these take a look inside for a surprise what would it be i don't know we have these which are so cute they look and feel like neato balls but they have orbies inside of them and there's lots of different cute cute Halloween characters. These are some like Gashpon eggs that look like jack-o'-lanterns and I went ahead and put some of the fidget keychains in them and then we have a couple sippy cups and some other like fillable jack-o'-lantern egg type things. Up here we have coffin ooze putty. It's like a clear ooze slime with glitter and a spider inside. Some some larger glow bugs, glow necklaces, a glow skull necklace. Ooh, that one's pretty. We have a... Oh, I thought they would all scream at once. We have a bucket of... 
rubber chickens and they all look like they're screaming with excitement. Up next, I got so many of these from Michaels this year. They are these cute little craft kits. And I don't know if trick or treaters are gonna like these or not, but you can actually like make this whole kit inside. I have these little metal Halloween pails. I was comparing these to these, which I have a few of these left to give this year, but sometimes kids like these over like the other big treat buckets. So we can fill these with um, candy and some other smaller treats. And sometimes kids run up and they grab these and they don't want the other things. So I don't know. Um, I was getting these as like just another option that maybe somebody might like more. We have lots of different little erasers down here and some more skull pencil toppers, some spider erasers. Um, these are one of the like cooler items in my opinion this year. They're these reusable glow sticks. There's lots of different designs, like some witch hats, there's ghosts, there's jack-o'-lanterns, but these are actually like really bright and I think they look really cool. There's the green ghost. These are mostly caramel apple pops that I put on these cute little like cards. There's two different designs, jack-o'-lanterns, and then these cute little ghosts. These, which I haven't gotten to try one of these yet, but they're like those things that you excavate. There's a skeleton inside, so it comes with this little chisel toy, and you can just chip away at the chalk coffin to get the skeleton out from the inside. We do have an entire bucket of rubber ducks, and there's so many different cute designs lines in here. This green winking duck. Very cute. I think these are supposed to be like cush balls, but they're almost like these little fidgets. I think that this is just tattoos. I think the other one, oh no, look, there's a puzzle in there. Maybe there's some stickers in here as well. This might be our last bucket, but this is kind of just some miscellaneous random things. Um, we have some plushies, some noisemakers. We have some squishies in here, little mini like football and bindi skeletons. So yeah, I think, oh my gosh, and a single frog finger puppet that didn't get handed out last year. Do you guys remember these? They're like these monster squeaker things. 